Good afternoon, Razor here, and today I'm going to be doing a part two to this video named The Fall of Border and The Revival of Border. Now, if you want to see part one, it's in the description below, and I recommend you watch it first before you watch this part. Okay? Without further ado, let us begin. Okay, everyone, the first part of this video will be dedicated to the KC power struggle. So, what's happening here right now is that Azul and his friends took the reins of KC as soon as the Knight Commanders made their new server. As a result, many of the KC Old Guard were angry because everyone thought Azul appointed his friends to the high positions of Knight Commander so that they can, well, have a big influence on the, on the Knight Commanders. It, now, here's the thing, before I tell you anything. The reason why I left KC wasn't because of that. It was because of the KC retests taking place in Future Tops. Yes, Future Tops of all places were going to do a retest. It's madness. Legit madness. And plus it started to look more like a sword fight clan than, than a team inside of Revived Border. So I just packed my stuff and left the Night Commanders. To add on, I everyone was having the thought that they have to go to another sword fight clan just so they could keep their title. And I was like, forget this. I'm not I'm not joining a sword fight clan just to keep my position in Night Commander. So I left before the retest could sweep me under the rug. Now a few things had to be clarified. So Lord Ewok basically said this message saying he's clarifying that anything community related should go to a community manager and anything developer related should be directed to Azul. So basically what happened then is that it basically clarified that Azul cannot control the game and can't control the Night Commanders. There are more, but I have to move on to the other parts because this video is going to get too long should I go into depth about everything. But the fun part is, Lors is now the noob queen. Yes, Lors is now the official noob queen of the Night Commanders. Congrats to her. Yes, yes. Okay, now we are on a part two of this whole debacle. We are now going to be talking about how Wiggles was changing his avatars. So basically, not going to show any avatars here, but Wiggles did change his avatars a lot throughout the month of August. And is still changing them to this day. He's still changing them because people recognize his avatar inside of random games. And people go after him. Guys, do not go after Wiggles. What do I keep telling you? Oh my lord. Yes. People are trying to pinpoint where Wiggles is in which experience. Guys, do you not read the disclaimers? Do not harass him. He's already in enough trouble. Okay, besides this, we're gonna move on. Anyways, folks, uh, let's go on to more border developments. We're gonna be talking about the DMCA takedown, some concept art, and devs leaving border as a result of drama. I will go over these quickly, so try and stick with me. The majority of these leaks have been produced by Dan Deli, a dev of Border, and all the leaks are posted on the Border Game Updates channel. So stick with me as I read through them, all right? Kudos to you, Dan Deli. Now, thing is, um, before we get into it, let's talk about the DMCA takedowns first and the, and the reason why you're going to see all the cool concept art. Now, the reason why Border got DMCA attacked was because Border just straight up tried to steal from Wiggles in a bid to get him back. Yeah. Guys, if you want your game to last longer and you want me to keep making YouTube content, please be a lot more original. Don't just straight up try stealing from Wiggles. Make an original game. So... Ewok says, Wiggles has copyrighted the game. We will appeal against it shortly. 
So the appeal has been sent off by 8.11 at 2.06 p.m. Eastern Time. And then there was another update. So in 14 days, he says, as you are aware, we have recently had a DMCA takedown. And there's a possibility that the appeal was going to be denied, which it's, it hasn't been denied. It's just that. They chose not to move forward with the legal action. Then Mega Ammo sub tried to go and submit a DMCA in on behalf of Border. And basically, yeah, that's what's been happening. Then as Border Revived opened and got shut down by Wiggles' DMCA, Azul left. Like, he just straight up left because he wanted bomb jumping to be removed from the game. Yeah, it's stupid. This happens a lot in gaming communities where people make stupid arguments about what should be removed and then that person leaves. It sucks. But that's how things work. Or else, what is a community? Yeah, it sucks, but... It was going to happen eventually. Next, we're going to be talking about the concept art and the leaks coming out from game updates. But yeah, we're, it's going to be pretty awesome, so stick around and sit down. You're going to love it. Dan Deli posted this at 8-12-2024 and says, I wonder what this could be. Ooh, it could be a castle? Heck yeah, I love it. I love the architecture of it. It looks pretty good. Next is a leak from the furnace uh, over here that says, Don't be afraid, it's just Craig! A house, one on the coastline, for all your fishing needs. Look at that. Fish! There is the whole town posted on 8 16 2024. Well, it's basically a big town. Yes. It's gonna look good. Yes. Ooh, what's this? The Fish Bureau? Oh boy, I wonder if uh, all the fish will be Salomon and I can carry an obnoxiously large fish to fling people with into the water. <laughs> There's a poll that says this fella, but for Brick got an evil and an evil variant that's black with red eyes for EBG. Fish, 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 fish. Yes. But in the end, we got these guys. This is, uh, the new Brick God. And this one looks like Cthulhu or something. What? That's so fun. That lo it looks funny looking. There's more pics about the peasant village. It looks pretty, it looks pretty dope. Ooh, a mesh about, uh, about the new Brick God thing over here. Looks pretty good. There's the fishing docks for fishing. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Oh, and there is Helvet in the fishing village. Look at that, folks. It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? There's an awesome cake shop. I think you should go in it and eat all the cake. These are the pics from the inside. So I'm going to quickly give you a closer look at these pics. So take a good look. And if you want, pause the video. Guys, who's this blue alien guy that the Bear of Wisdom just posted? Who, who's that blue alien in the middle? Could someone tell me who it is? Now, I'd go over the Condensed Development Update 1, but it's too freaking long to go over. So, pause the video as I scroll down. Yeah, please do that if you want to see the whole thing. There's now a mini development update number two, but again, it looks too long to read, so feel free to look at it as I scroll down and pause the video, okay? Yeah. Whoopee! Thousand Pillars Island! Holy smokes, that island looks dope. Please add it into the game. I wanna, I wanna fly my glider off of it. And, well, fly around like always. <laughs> There's a pawn shop here where you can buy and sell stuff at. There's a breadfish over here! There's a cool lumberjack house right here in those picks. 
yeah, I think you're gonna like it. There is Helvet over here as a Viking chieftain, right behind a uh, Galaxy Splatter, who looks like who doesn't look like Mega Ammo 12 to me. And right behind is the username for the fifth ever Viking King. Who is the fifth Viking King? I don't know. Maybe it's Galaxy. Yeah. In this pic, Bear of Wisdom is chilling on a on a chair on the beach. Not. He's just chilling in the dev zone. Oh, look at that. Those are some pretty cool ruins. Look at that. Uh, I think you should keep it around, though. It looks pretty awesome to me. This was the intended design. Look at this. Dan Deli did an awesome job with this. Kudos to you. And those are some updated ruin photos right over here. Hey, we've gone over all the concept art. All the concept art so far. Okay, now we move on to the next part. Old Border got an update. Guess what it is? It's coming in toilet to creeper! Yes, my friends, Border has embraced brain rot. Skibbity Toilet has finally been added into Border after many years. Now we will have a toilet with a head sticking out of it inside of Border Game. If you aren't banned from it. I was sent this pic, and basically, well, yeah. I had to talk about it on the YouTube community page. Here's a screenshot of that as well. All right, uh, this ends chapter one. Now we got to move on to chapter two. Welcome to September. We are now in chapter two of this whole video. Now, the thing is, uh, while well, I was just doing college and getting classes started, a lot of developments had started, besides the stuff I've been talking about. The first thing I want to mention about is the debates going on on the group wall in Border Revived. Between a few users like Blocks, Bacony, Leader Awesomeness 678, and the most notable of all, Dito Dev. Alright, so... The reason why I looked into this is because someone DM'd me this pic of Wiggles in a different avatar. And he basically mentioned Dito Dev. That's all I'm focusing on right now. Now, Wiggles is claiming that Dito Dev is exposing him without providing proof on why Wiggles did what he did, allegedly. Hence, why this whole debate is starting up in the chat. I won't go into this any further, but it's just a little notable. And, DiroDev, if you're watching this, uh, can you reach out to me? I have a couple of questions to ask. Anyways, if you want to go down and see the whole debate, just scroll down from the Border Revived group and you'll find the chat. Okay, let's analyze this screenshot sent to me by this anonymous user. So, anyways, basically, a sentence in this one says, What's even sadder is that you are attacking people for defending me. Now, though the evidence may be overwhelmingly be co convincing, it's important to know which allegations are true and which ones are false. Okay, I have a reminder for you guys. Please do not go and attack people trying to explain why Wiggles is innocent. How the heck are you gonna know both sides of the story if you keep attacking one side and the other? Like, come on. We, I, we do not have the whole story here. Though, we have most of the story. The evidence could be faked. The evidence may not be faked. The only way something like this could happen is if, well, Someone gets a subpoena from Discord servers and sees who, which messages are edited and which ones aren't. Anyways, let's move on to the most recent huge development. The return of the Noob Queen. I'm not gonna lie, we were not expecting the Noob Queen to ever return again, but she decided to return and help build this new border game. I'd just like to say to her, welcome back. 
Okay, for some reason, when I was editing the video at this time, the noob queen did unfortunately leave the server while I was a little inactive. So yeah, I just want to put that out there. We would love to have you in our community. Now, the noob queen did return, though she's a contributor. So yeah, she's now a contributor to this new border game. Welcome back once again. Woo! That took a long time to explain everything in such a short period of time. Now, anyways, uh, I'm gonna end the video here because I've ranted for too freaking long. So, if you want to see a part three where I actually make a video after Border Revive releases, I will do just that. So if you want me to do it, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. So good day, good night. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.